In this video, we're going to talk about email reports in GA4, but we're also going to use a few tools that are suitable for checking other channels in GA4 as well. Let's go into the browser and see how does all that work. Here we are in the debug view of GA4, and for these purposes, I sent myself an email with the two links. One of them is pointing at email reporting blog on DDU, and it's not tagged. And the other one is pointing at the homepage of DDU website, and it's properly tagged. If I open this first link, it takes us to email reports in GA4 blog post. And on the debugger, we can see that... Let's wait just a few seconds, and probably we're going to see this page view. Here it is. Here are all the parameters that have been sent with this hit. So we do not see campaign, source, or medium because link was not tagged. And GA4 will not know who referred this visit because it didn't came from a website. Instead, it came from an email, which is not an online resource by default. And as such, this visit would go into the direct bucket of GA4 default channel grouping. Now let's go back to that email and click this link, which is tagged. And as you can see here in the URL bar, after the URL, it has parameters, UTM source, and then UTM medium and campaign as well. And in the debugger, we're going to see this new page view as something that actually has all these parameters. It has a campaign parameter, which is test123, the same as here, but also it has proper medium parameter called email, and then the source parameter was called newsletter. So how do you achieve this? Well, basically you need to use UTM Builder, which is Google provided tool. This link will be available in the description of the video, but you need to fill in the URL that you wanna take a link to, and then also source, medium, and campaign name Basically, you don't have to fill a campaign name. It's not an obligatory parameter, but these two need to be filled so that you can copy your link from this field and then paste it into your email or any other offline source. For example, PDF is also something that can be read on your desktop software. So you need to actually tag the links that take people to website. Otherwise, GA4 will not know who brought this visit. Now, if we take a look at this screenshot, we can see that GA4 default channel grouping actually understands that even though this second source medium was improperly tagged, so email was put under source and the medium was message, GA4 still understood that this visit came from email and placed it properly in the email default channel group. Now let's go to the analyzing part. If we wanted to analyze quickly emails, we could use this, uh, I call it report filter. And then maybe you can add here, for example, source medium. So you can see which source medium brought you, or you can actually pick a campaign name so that you can analyze what was the name of campaigns and maybe some dates and stuff like that. But for deeper investigation, I would suggest adding filter and then say, okay, include only sessions that had medium of email. And then you can follow the steps for saving this report and understanding basically how things went in your, in your website for the dates that you had campaigned. Now, as I said, we're going to demonstrate several tools that are actually uh, usable for other channels. So if you wanted to save this report, you would have to click on a pencil icon, then say we want a filter to include only medium of email. And we want to save this report as email traffic report save it and then in order to show this report 
across all the users of this account, you'd have to go to reports tab and then to library and practically add this report to a certain collection. For this demonstration purposes, we're gonna add it to lifecycle collection. So let's say, okay, we're looking at acquisition, but we wanna analyze only email traffic. Let's put it there, save this to the current collection. And when we go back and take a look at the acquisition reports in the life cycle, we see email traffic report here. And so does everybody else who uses this account. So it's a really neat way to actually uh, help your organization understand a particular channel. In this case, we're talking about email, but it can be applicable to all other uh, channels as well. I hope that you like this video and that you find it useful. If you do like it, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. See you soon.